Hey everybody, Justin Young here. Last week, Synetic sent me one of their newest motorized sliders that'll hit the market soon, the Lynx. Over the last few days, I've been able to test it out, and honestly, this piece of equipment is awesome. Not only is it easy to use, but it's also fairly lightweight, which is perfect for traveling. All right, so let's dive into some of the features. The Lynx is really the perfect kit for an easy to use motorized slider. The slider, the slide motor, and the brain unit all fit within the slider case, while the pan and tilt motor has its own smaller bag. Assembling it doesn't take very long, just a couple bolts to tighten and that's it. And you can use the Lynx brain unit with any Sony camera, and either with the Sony Play Memories app or without. I use the Sony A7R2 for all my time lapses. Setting up your time lapse is pretty easy. There are presets already set up, or you can create your own. If you want to use the Sony Play Memories app with links, start off by setting your camera time lapse settings. First, set your intervals and shots taken. I'll set mine to 5 seconds with 120 shots for this example. Next, with the Lynx Brain Unit, you'll set your pan, tilt, and slide. Once you have the starting point set, click Set Start Point. You'll be prompted to do this again, so once again, set up your pan, tilt, and slide settings, and then click set keyframe. Now you'll want to match the interval and shots taken from the Sony app so both units are synchronized. I have my motors set to stop, move, stop, so there will be no movement between the shots taken. Once everything is set, click run and click the shutter on the camera. If you prefer to not use the Sony Play Memories time-lapse app, all you need to do is connect a shutter release cable from the camera to the brain unit. Follow the steps I did previously and then hit run and the links will synchronize perfectly with your camera. My go-to equipment for shooting time-lapses is my Sony a7R II with a 35 1.4. I also use the Sony 16-35 the 50mm, and also the 24-70 2.8. I also have a few ND and polarizer filters, as well as a really sturdy tripod to hold your slider. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below.